Welcome to the video on shaping bassoon cane. For those who use a straight shaper, this is the next step in making a bassoon reed. Those with folding shapers will first profile the reed and then shape the reed. I often shape two pieces of cane at a time in order to uh, save my efforts. The straight shaper is curved in a certain direction. So you put in the cane. I align the cane, centering it. I use a reed knife to shape my cane, but most use an X-Acto knife or knife with a very thin blade. I find a position with the knife and shaper that won't cut my fingers. The first cuts I make are just taking away the excess cane. Now it's very important to know where the narrowest portion of the shape is. You can see the shape narrows about right in this area, flares out again, and of course flares where the tip is. Once I've cut away the, the excess there, then I can start my cuts in both directions. Just going to that narrow place. Notice I cut at an angle and sometimes sort of moving back and forth like this to take off the, uh, the cane. This process is re repeated for the, the other four sides. If you do this properly, it doesn't dull your knife. You never want to cut with the knife into the shaper. Instead, the knife glides along the shape. At a later stage, we can clean up the shape a little bit with sandpaper. but. There's the reed that is shaped. On the screen there's an example of the dimensions of a straight shaper that I recommend to my students. I encourage students to make reeds of a dimension that are commonplace in the USA. Only after they have considerable experience with reed should they deviate from the normal measurements. God bless you. Thanks.